Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Mama Sila, also known as Priscilla here. I am 23 years old, a single mom to this little boy. And we want to welcome you to our channel. Yeah, Mama. Hey, so, yeah. I'll put it there. Thank you, baby. Wait. <laughs> um, so it is about 30 minutes since you guys saw the intro of my clip but thank you to all of my new subscribers welcome to the family on my channel i share you guys my budget my finances and the real rawness of being a mom and my finances welcome to the family and thank you for spending your time with me and giving me a chance i made this channel because i wanted to show you guys the real rawness of how it is to budget with a toddler and with the family on a low income i know i have met so many amazing people through this channel and connected with so many moms out there single moms at that and in today's video i'm actually going to talk to you guys about yesterday's video which you guys see today i'm going to be posting both of them and now that i am calm and collective i want to explain more to you guys about my financial situation if you've been following me for a while you know that i got furloughed at the end of april and i haven't gotten unemployment since i've been furloughed till this day i just received a paperwork today that i have to turn in which i'm going to mail before work tomorrow which is another thing i need to talk about but basically the only income that i have been relying on is my business income and this past june i haven't been doing too well with my businesses and you know if you own a business if your business isn't making any sales and that means you aren't making any sales and the rest can go on but i am my own boss i own my own business currently but my business cannot fully support my family and i just yet and so we are here I am one month ahead in my bills and expenses as far as my sinking funds there are a few that I do need to still put money towards such as my car tags such as my subscriptions to certain things and I really like to put in, put in tithe so let's just say tithe um it is ethan's birthday this coming friday which is in three days and i couldn't be any more happy but stressed at the same time my budget for his birthday was 400 dollars. under these circumstances of covid19 i am not going to be throwing him a big birthday party it was a decision that I had to make last minute. I'm just going to have something small with family. And maybe eventually, if I still have some money in his budget, I will do like a small drive by with people to maybe take pictures with Ethan. Obviously take precautions, wearing a face mask and no contact. Um, that is something else I am planning to do with that budget. I plan to stay under budget. I saved $400, but I don't think that I will be spending that much because all I plan to do is have some small decorations with balloons as well as I'm making his cake. I did buy cupcakes from a close friend. I bought two dozen, which totals up to be $30. I am also just going to do sodas, pizzas, as well as some fruit and maybe some chips, which is super inexpensive. I don't think it's going to be more than $200, especially with the close family that I have, my siblings, his cousins, and my dad, my brothers, and that's pretty much it. 
So now comes on to my job. We just got word yesterday that we are going back to work tomorrow, which is going to be Wednesday. And I'm going to be working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the coming up week. As far as weeks after that, I am not too sure about what's going to happen because of COVID-19. And the reason why is because my specific job for the census is an enumerator, which is basically people who go to facilities such as hospitals, such as um, such as hospitals and other facilities outside of your house, but that people live at. So that comes along with so many things. A facility may have people with COVID and if they do, then we won't be going into that facility and we would be calling our CFS, which, which is basically our supervisor and letting them know that that facility has COVID-19 and that they potentially may have to do their census online. So with me starting back at the census, I actually won't get paid until the next following three weeks, which is going to be in the middle of July. So that is why I'm worried about paying rent and just expenses for August. I do have a savings fund that I may eventually have to tap into because unemployment still hasn't hit. I haven't heard from them. And you guys know that I was going to move into an apartment and I don't know if I talked about this, but my rent is going to be $500. So that is all of my house expenses is gonna to total up to $500. So right now I pay about $400 for my expenses. So moving into this new house, it's gonna be $500. So that means that I'm going, my budget for bills and expenses is going to rise up to an extra $100. The reason why my family and I are moving into a house and decided this is because we need something bigger for our family. My brother moved in with me and so he's currently living in our living room. My dad is currently in the living room because my other brother, he took the room that was my dad's, which my dad is totally fine with sleeping on the couch. I bought him a bed when we first moved out here. I bought him a bed when we first moved out to this apartment, but he only slept on it maybe like three times out of the week and the living room is just more efficient for him when it comes to when it comes to the TV, when it comes to eating and all of that. But the thing is is when he had gotten his room, I got him a TV and he was watching there, so things just changed and that is why we are moving is because we need a bigger space and my budget is only gonna be $100 more, which I think is doable. But ever since COVID-19 happened, I don't even know if it's doable now. Ever since things have changed for me. But worse comes to worse, I, but if worse comes to worse, I'm going to ask my son's dad to watch him more and so that I could do Postmates or Grubhub. So the reason why I'm making this video was to tell you guys about my online businesses. If you guys can either shout me out or purchase something. I typically don't ask for money. If you know me, I it's hard for me to receive money. But honestly this time around it has been really tough financially and i don't want to cry in this video but i really feel defeated as a mom and as a person and i want to be real with you guys that this is hard like being a single mom is hard and it, it has always been hard but 
but if you know me you know that whatever comes my way i overcome it and that is why so many people say that i'm such a strong person but right now i don't feel like a strong person like i was saying earlier i feel defeated kind of embarrassed because when you hear about people opening up a business they're successful well this month it's not successful and i just i'm lost with words of where i'm at right now because i built up this channel and the main thing is finances and i'm over here struggling i'm struggling a lot actually and you guys know that i have a high yield savings and i have an emergency fund but a high yield savings is not for me to touch i'm going to give you guys some links down below first is going to be my two shops i'm also going to leave my referral link for ibotta if you have an ibotta anyone can have an, a referral link um it just will help me out with food and things like that y'all know that i receive calfresh which is basically government funded for food stamps for food for my son and i but times have been a little tougher that's why you guys saw in my emergency funding i took out twenty dollars for fun which was groceries as well as i put an extra forty dollars and miscellaneous because i have depleted my cow fresh for the month and the reason why my aid got depleted is because ethan has been eating a lot more you guys he's growing and he was getting food from daycare but he's not in daycare and so he's not getting any food from daycare or any other place but my house and so that has been worrying me a little bit and so i'm just and so if you guys can and so if you guys can sign up with my referral link down below for ibotta i'll put that down below i will also put my offer up account as well as my poshmark account because i'm selling a few things I keep going through my things and I'm just getting rid of so many things. Some things that I really love and I wish I could hold on to, but at this point in time, it's not as important as providing for my family. I really don't like asking for money because I don't want to feel a burden to anybody, but times are tough right now so i am going to link down below my venmo and my cash app if you guys can spare some change you guys know that i really like to give and now i'm asking you guys to give to me and i just it's very hard for me to ask for things but i don't i don't know what to do especially because I have Ethan most of the time and I don't even know what to say to be completely honest but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those down below since I do have my businesses I would rather you guys purchase something from me rather than sending me anything I appreciate you all so much I really do and I hope you guys know that and just know that this was very hard for me to record and to post too because I do have to edit this video. It would really mean a lot if you guys help support my businesses by purchasing a product because I built this business from scratch from my own hard working money and I didn't come from a family where we had money, where wealth was something that I was privileged with. And so with that being said, thank you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Y'all know I'm always on the budget. 
even when it comes to buying food, even when it comes to buying my own clothing, which I haven't bought clothing in a while, which isn't even in my mind to buy any clothing or Ethan clothing. We have enough clothing. Ethan has enough clothing. He got blessed with my sister's son's clothing. He is now 10, so he is pretty much stocked up as far as diapers. I've been trying to potty train him. That little boy, it's so hard for, for me to teach him. I don't know how. If you guys have any tips, please let me know because I am running low on diapers as well as we haven't even bought pampers, so I'm going to have to go buy those eventually. Thank goodness that I do work the next three days and unfortunately, Friday is his birthday and I won't even see him for the full day because I will be working but it is for the best of us like i said i won't get paid until three weeks from my job because i'm just starting up tomorrow but with that being said thank you guys all so much for your love and support as always i will see you guys in my next video bye everyone